Hi guys, today I'm going to show my Home Alone collection. There are five movies to go through. I'm going to go through all of them. I tie four by them. So, yeah, um, I will be talking about Home Sweet Home Alone because that hasn't been released on DVD. After I finish five, I'm going to go. I'm going to talk about Home Sweet Home Alone. Let's start. It will start in 1990. We had Home Alone, directed by Chris Columbus, uh, from John Hughes' family. Fun, this is the new the Family Fun Edition. Um, it has lots of special features on it. It came in 1990. It's PG. Side, back. Um, being left behind has never been so much fun. It's good if you get lots of special features on here. Um, so for 98 minutes, it's PG Pentagon, German Sun, please maybe, Unsuit Film Children, and it's a disc, you have Harry and Marv. And this movie's good, it's a classic, like Christmas, I watch this every year for Christmas, it's a great movie. Uh, Chris Columbus did a good job with this movie, so, so if you're watching Home Alone, High Grand, you start with, off with this one, so it's Home Alone. Then in 1992, we had Home Alone 2 Lost in New York. Uh, this came in 1992. Um, from John Hughes, a Chris Columbus film, you have Kevin. Um, Harry and Marv. Um, it's uh, it's came in 1992. It's PG. There's the side. There's the back. Um, America's smallest hero takes a giant bite out of the Big Apple. Pre description special features. It's on 450 minutes. PG Pentagon and James Hunt. Please baby. Let's see children. And um, it's the desk. Uh, yeah, this one's good. I I I prefer this one much more than the first one. Like I mean, th this one you have Tim Curry in it. Like how can you not? Like like this movie, Tim Curry is just hilarious in this movie, and I just like this one. I just like the trap. I love the traps here more than the first one. I just there, I just love this one more because the f I feel like the first one's a bit boring. I honestly think the first one's just a bit boring until until the tracks ha the traps happen. That's yeah. It, it's, one has more mo memorable moments in it than this one, but uh, I say when the track the traps happen, that's when the, that one picks up. But this one was good from the get go. So I remember check this one out. So I'm like two lost in New York. Then 1997, we had Home Alone 3. This was the first one not to feature Macaulay Culkin as um, Kevin. Um, this came in 1997. This was Alex D. Lind. It's PG. Side. Back. Big laughs. A real life kid pleaser. It's on for 98 minutes. Pre description, special features. It's PG, Pentagon, the German Sun, please, maybe, and from children. And there's this. Now, originally, this was supposed to have Macaulay Culkin in it, but. Um, by the time they were making this movie, he dropped out of acting, so they decided to just recast with Alex D. Lenz. And Alex D. Lenz did a good job, job with, as Alex, and uh, I like how this one has like a spy genre, has a spy theme to it compared to the first two. Um, this was directed by Roger Gosnell, which um, he was a producer on the first two Hobbit movies. So yeah, this one's good. I know a lot of people don't like this one, actually. And this actually has Scarlett Johansson. A young Scarlett Johansson is in this movie, so yeah, um, I love this movie. I know a lot of people don't like it. I actually enjoy this one, so it's on my free. Now, in 2002, we had Home Alone 4, um, also known as Home Alone, Taking Back the House. Um, you have Kevin, Harry, and Marv. And um, no, you have Marv and you have Vera. And um, it's Ken Time 2, it's you, side, back. Um, it's tough being 9, pre description. It's on for 83 minutes. It's a universal super for all. And there's the disc. And this, is, this was a TV movie that came out in 2002. Uh, I watched this years ago. Um, um, I don't like this movie. I think this is the weakest of the Home Alone movies because I just I feel like this one is just so low budget, and as you can tell, this is just like TV movie. And yeah, this was actually supposed to start a TV show. It was supposed to start. There was supposed to be a Home Alone TV show. This this was technically supposed. This was technically supposed to be the pilot, and then it was going to be a TV show right after. But because it didn't do well, they decided to just make release this as a movie, and then we didn't get the TV show. But I. I I thought the cast is okay. I don't like the person who plays um Kevin. I don't like him, but uh, French Stew is okay. He's nowhere near as good as like Joe Pesci, but yeah, it's Home Alone four. Um, yeah, two thousand twelve we had Home Alone: The Holiday Heist. Now, um, this came two thousand twelve. This is also a TV movie, and this stars Finn. It doesn't have Kevin in it. Uh, this came two thousand twelve. It's PG side back. Pretty good. It's on for eighty six minutes. Um. Um, it's a PG Mar bad language, and then it's the disc. It's a plain great disc, and um, white disc. Oh, uh, yeah, this was a TV movie. I watched it. I think it was the twenty thirteen. I watched it. I watched it on TV, and it was okay. This one is much better than Home Alone Four. Uh, at least this one, the budget's a bit better, and I, the acting here is way better than Home Alone Four. Uh, yeah, Malcolm McDowell. Was in, they waste Malcolm McDowell in this movie. Yeah, he's in. Yeah, that's him. That's Malcolm McDowell, which you probably know him from. Um, the Clockwork Orange, yeah, he was in that. Um, uh, yeah, so it's Home Alone Holiday Has. I recommend you check this one. It's much better than Home Alone 4. 
Um, yeah, so I think I think the traps are better here than in four. It wouldn't really even traps in four. In four, he just uses the stuff in the house. And then I'm gonna quickly talk about Home Sweet Home Alone, which um, there's gonna be a picture right next to me um, whenever there's gonna be a picture. And um, so in Home Sweet Home Alone, this was um, the sixth Home Alone movie, and this one was um, um, this was on Disney Plus um, during the it came out during the Disney Plus day, and I did a review on it, and I I I've, I enjoyed it. It's it's not better than five. I still think five is better, but is much better than four, but I feel like this one's a much better like um um made movie. You can see the budget, there's more budget went to it. Uh, Rob Delaney's in it, um M LA Campers in it as well. Um and yeah, uh, yeah, Buzz comes back from the the first two. The actor who plays Buzz. And yeah, it was I thought the traps were okay. I it was uh, I the story was a bit like it was kind of it's a bit I feel like the story could have been better but it's okay, I enjoyed it for what it was. I know a lot of people hated it on it, and it's fine. Like, um, at least it's not a TV, it's not as bad as the first one. This is one actually felt like a movie, it didn't feel like a TV movie. And that's pretty much it, that is my home line collection. I wish they would make another one. Like, they could do like what they did with Terminator, like, so direct sequel to the second one. I, I, I did a reinventing franchise, you can check that out on the channel. And that's pretty much Home Alone. Um, some good movies, some bad movies. Um, so comment down below, let me know what's your favorite Home Alone movie. My favorite one's Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. So comment down below, let me know what's your favorite Home Alone movie. So guys, so much for my video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.